bottom middle. Okay, and then let's shine again. And jump again. Or, oops, not jump yet. Jump again. Okay, and then <clears throat> I'm actually going to turn Magus physics on so I can look at my joystick. And let's get a really juicy wave dash. Okay, that's pretty good. I'm going to turn that off now. Okay, cool. Remember 27 was the last. <clears throat> and then, boom, let's up smash. Bingo. Okay. Cool, so just, you know, advancing some frames here. And, um, you know, at this point right here, maybe we could, or, you know, let's go a little more so Fox is back into weight. Uh, <clears throat> at this point, we could set the loop flag on, um, do an auto load save state, or nothing, and just manually load state again. Um, the... The reason why I went in the debug menu at the beginning of this video and turned the uh, loop holds during hit lag to off is because um, <clears throat> in your replay that now has trigger frames on it, um, basically whenever it gets to a trigger spot and it's like a, you know it basically comes out to being false and it uses the inputs from the last frame when that happens. The recording basically gets converted into a looping replay, just kind of how the engine is coded right now. Um, so that's why, since it gets kind of converted into a looping replay, um, it's, it's like an internal conversion. Like it doesn't actually like doesn't actually like automatically loop, you know, per se at the end of the replay or anything. Uh, but just kind of internally, it like kind of considers, considers it to be a looping replay. Um, so that's why I was using that flag. Or that's why I turned that flag off. So, uh, at this point, let's, let's, do, uh, let's, do, let's do an auto load state. That's fine. Okay, and that concludes my recording. So, for player three, Fox, I'm going to turn him back to playback. Uh, I want to control Falcon again, so um, yeah, hit L to go back to Falcon. Player one, controlled by me, player one. And we need to go back in time, save state, or sorry, load state major, back in time, D pad left. Okay, so you know, we're back, back to there. And um, let's just develop unpause, develop freeze unpause, and see what happens. So Fox is just holding his shield. And if I bring up the replay menu, you know, he's in playback, but his current frame is 12, and it's just kind of like chilling on 12, you know, because it's looking for the trigger, and it's not, it's not seeing it. It's not seeing the trigger that we set for shield stun. But, if I hit a shield, <laughs> then I get double shine up smashed, or double wave shine up smashed, and uh, then it auto loads a safe state back. So, uh, pretty cool. So, you know, now you can practice your spacing on stuff. Um, So you can see my, my replay, I, uh, my first wave dash wasn't very good, which is why, like, 
Yeah, so probably if I was to if I was to redo this, I would make my first I would make Fox's first wave dash really good. Which again, I could TAS to be a perfect wave dash with Magus uh, physics display, you know, displaying the controller input, but I chose not to do so. But um, yeah, so nonetheless, that's kind of just a general overview of the trigger flag. Um, you know, there's um, there's a lot more you could do with it too. You know, uh, but <clears throat> but that's you know just kind of general, just general overview. Uh, that kind of concludes the um, the save state and replay um, flags and replay engine. So, um, <clears throat> you know, I hope you guys can kind of see how like sort of tightly interwoven those two features have become. Um, <clears throat> you know, and the replay engine is kind of dependent upon the save states, uh, you know, in order to obtain its its full power. So, uh, you know, I think that this replay engine, I mean, obviously, it can it can be an amazing practicing tool for, you know, just sort of programming in these micro situations that uh, you know really you just have never really been able to to do against a computer um, you know so there's just a lot you can practice with this uh, but as far as like other uses that this has um, really like content creators um, and, and you know people of that nature can really um, use this tool as well because you can you can have a replay going like this um, but you can still use all the, you know, all the in-game toggles, all the developed toggles. Um, those are still, you know, like active and in use. So, like, I don't know if I play the game again. You know, like pressing R and D-pad up is now, you know, is in develop mode is the um, the bubbles. You know, so you can turn the bubbles on. You can turn stage stuff, uh, you know, stage collision links, environmental collision boxes on, um, I can hit X and D-pad left to change the, um, to go into, like, develop camera, and, uh, you know, I can, like, move the camera around, and, <clears throat> um, pan it, zoom it, and stuff, while the recording is being played and inputs are being used, um, Y and D-pad left displays the, uh, um, like the 20XX, uh, button input display, um, and you can adjust the, the Y height of that in the debug menu, um, Man, there's just a lot that it can that it can do now, and a lot that can tie into uh, the replay system. Um, so, hope you guys find this tool to be useful. Um, um, you know, as a practicing tool and just a uh, you know fun thing to experiment with, and um, <clears throat> um, you know something that you can use to uh, share uh, you know clips and things with the community. Um, but that is uh, all I have on the subject as of now. So thank you for watching. Um, and this ends the save state and replay uh, tutorial set of videos.